Hey everyone, so we're going to be doing a uh, quick review on this motorcycle jacket and pants that I got the other day off of Amazon. Uh, brand is HWK here. I want to start off with this is not sponsored at all. I just want to do this review because I am very impressed with uh, the jacket and pants that I had purchased. I had been looking for quite a while and a lot of them were much more expensive than these were, but this was highly rated and reviewed on Amazon, so I'll drop the links uh, down below, but I just want to talk about some of the things that I like about it and then my experience that I've had with it. So uh, I did purchase this, I do have Prime, so it shipped to me pretty quickly and I had it uh, very quick. I started using it and within the first few days of riding, um, I was uh, riding in the rain and uh, it was also fairly cold because I start riding usually first thing in the morning. For the first few days when I was riding it was in the 30s and 40 uh, degree when I go to work and then I usually don't wear this on the way home uh, but I have been caught in the rain several times with this and that was the initial reason why I decided to try and purchase this is because it said that it was very weather and rain resistant. This has kept me very dry. The only parts that have gotten wet during those rides are areas not covered by this. So yes, this does have a little bit of wetness on the outside, but it does not saturate all the way through and has kept my uniform dry on the way to work. So very nice there. Um, I have both the jacket and the pants here. The jacket does come with a zip-in liner, so it does keep me nice and warm in the morning. Also, aside from the rain, it does keep me very warm. So again, the only things that are generally cold during my ride is usually my neck and then my wrists if they're exposed. But this keeps me, both the jacket and the pants keeps me very warm, but it does have that liner. It does have the mesh in here, so if you take out the liner, it's great for warmer weather. And then you can keep the liner in for colder. Uh, also for warm weather, you have several air vents. So you have some both in both of the shoulders here, the sleeves here. You have another one on the back here. This does have some uh, armor in it some soft armor so it's not uh, extremely hard but it does hold its form very well and uh, gives you some extra padding and that is here in the back and it is also in the shoulders here in the elbows here and then it is in multiple places on the pants as well so I'll go ahead and grab those out the padding on the pants is uh, right here Kind of it usually sits right here as I'm wearing it on my hips it's also in the knees I believe that's only two places yeah so just up top and then in the knees one really good feature about these is that the pants when you buy them together so I had to purchase them separately but I did buy both of these together that way I could use this feature the pants have a zipper right here on the back and then the jacket has the same thing. If you lift up the back, it has a zipper right here. So something that I was confused on when I bought this is I thought the zipper went all the way around. It is only uh, about eight inches, seven or eight inches in length. It just keeps your coattail down during those rides. So uh, if any rain is coming off, Generally, I have not zipped that up because that is harder to do by yourself if you don't have somebody assisting you. And uh, I have still stayed, I have still stayed dry, so no issues with that there. So I enjoy that very much. We'll stick with the jacket for now. Still, you have several different adjusting straps to make sure that you are uh, that you have it adjusted just the way you want it for to conform to your body. You have several pockets, both of these ones on the outside. There's another one right here. This one is big enough to, to fit a smaller uh, weapon for concealed carry. Another pocket here on the liner. Another pocket over here on the other side of the liner. More there. And there is also this pocket back here, so your passenger even has some place to put some of their things if they're riding with you as well. So lots of adjusting. You have the two Velcro 
down here on the back, and then you have Velcro here on the arm as well. Get that untwisted here. Very durable. Uh, it does really well. I have definitely enjoyed using this jacket. And again, this is the HWK brand. Cop there. Moving on to the pants. So as for sizing when you're purchasing these, they have a pretty good description online um, on selecting the appropriate size. So you're going to measure your chest for this one. I think it's just your chest here. And then for the pants, it's just your waist size for your pants. And then a few people did recommend going uh, whatever your size is that you generally wear, do the size that is slightly higher because it, all of these have a range, a size range. So it generally goes, it's, it's two different numbers. And so make sure that the one that you actually wear is on the lower end of it, just that it does give you some extra space, especially if you're wearing full clothing like I wear a uniform under it. it gives me plenty of extra space okay so the pants so this is a water resistant membrane here so even if it opens up even if any rain were to get in there then that still keeps it out of your uh, actual pants itself so that's a nice feature it has the zipper it has two buttons right here adjusting straps and that is stretchy also right there so it allows for a little bit of stretch as you're especially if you're fitting them over another piece of clothing again it has the zipper on back to connect to the jacket if you get the jacket with it it has a pocket here it can fit my full hand in it i generally put my phone in here so it's easy access and I've had my phone in this pocket while it's been raining. Still, the pants will get wet, but my phone has been completely dry. It has a water-resistant lining on the inside. And then you have that zipper, so that's the same thing on both sides. You have two of those front pockets. And then you have this one Velcro pocket here. Also has the weather-resistant lining there. I usually put my other stuff like additional keys that I have, uh, cards, wallet type stuff here so that it's easy to get to while I'm writing. More vents here, so one here, one on the other side, another adjustable strap here. Again, this is where the armor is also. That soft armor is right here behind this pocket and then another one is behind the knee right here and another adjustable strap here. There is a zipper that comes up to here so it comes up uh, about a foot up. So one thing that I really wish they would change on these pants is to have the zipper come further up. The, the only thing that I dislike is I do have to take my boots off in order to get into this, it, to get into the pants. The jacket is great. I can just slip it over everything, but I do have to take off whatever footwear I have in order to get into the pants. So that would be my only gripe or complaint about these. Other than that, they're really great. Same thing, everything that's on this side is also on this side. So you have uh, duplicated pockets and everything. It's symmetrical and uh, that's it. So no pockets back here or anything, but these are really great. So for my rides, I generally am riding about 30 minutes or more on those. And I so I'll do those rides again, first thing in the morning going to work it can be down to freezing temperatures this keeps me plenty warm and then you can also take out all of those liners as well so you can use it during warmth a lot of reviews have said they're great during that time and then also during the rain have got caught in the rain several times going to and from work and it has kept my uniform dry all the time everything except for my boots <laughs> but really great um really great jacket and pants here and i believe that the price that they're selling for this it's i i believe that it is uh underpriced for what it should be selling for because it is very good quality i love the features the fit is great 
and everything uh, all the other views or reviews on this were were great just to give you an idea of the sizing and the sizes that I purchased is I am six foot tall about 200 pounds and for the jacket I did the large here and it, it fits great I will uh, actually put it on so you can see how they fit and then for the pants I generally wear uh, 34 so usually 32 34 so 32 wide by 34 inseam or 34 34 and so I purchased these uh, the range on this is so these are the large pants and the 34 inseam and they work really great so i'll go ahead and put it on now so you can see how they look i just put the pants on here i also have one boot on and one boot off just so you can see the difference uh, so you can actually see the size of my boot is why i left one off so uh, that's the size of my boot it's not terribly rigid but it fits up under here just fine and there's like it's it's pretty thick so you can't even really tell where the boot ends uh, is, as far as I can see so it does really nice coverage some reviews in here have said that people do wear the bigger motorcycle boots and it has fit just fine especially if you loosen up on that or undo the zipper so that works great but these uh, again any footwear that I have will not fit all the way through the pants there so that's what the actual pants look like again Here's the soft padding and then so the soft padding is here on the side and then the, the knee as I'm actually wearing it and I just keep my adjustment straps a little bit looser uh, but it fits really well and I think it, it the bottoms actually look pretty good. I could probably go a size down but when I'm wearing my uniform those are thicker cargo pants since they take up a little bit more room. For the jacket, so it is nice that the zipper is all the way on the inside here, and then I fold over, fold this one over, and then there's that Velcro lining, but this is all uh, weather resistant, you know, lining there. It has the snap on the bottom, I'm not going to do it right now. A really nice feature about this jacket is this neck. It has a neoprene liner all the way around the neck. So this is very comfortable as I'm actually riding and it keeps everything out. So I usually wear a gator neck uh, over and I tuck it down into the jacket and it, it holds it really well. And then this has a Velcro crease that, that comes over. So that's what it looks like sealed up. Uh, again, I, I got the large and uh, it's it's right about the right length for my arms adjustments here for the wrist so you can tighten it and loosen it as needed i usually leave it right about there so i can get my thicker gauntlets under there for when i am doing the cold uh, riding and so it does does make you look a little bit bigger but i the fit is really great i can fit everything under this Again, if I wasn't wearing bulkier clothing on my way to work as part of my uniform, I might go a size down, but this works really great. Um, this is the way the back side looks. These do come in different colors as well. I just chose this lighter one so that it still would be higher visibility. As for the pricing, I don't remember how much I paid for them right now. I believe it was about $75, uh, $60 to $75 each for both of them and a lot of the ones I was looking at you were paying about a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars just for one um, whether it be the jacket or the pants so I was very happy when I came across these and it was already had so many really good reviews on it so lots of reviews and they're very highly rated uh, so this is just my review of it I would definitely highly recommend this to anybody else looking for this uh, type of a thing and uh, hopefully it meets your purposes and uh, hopefully this helps out smash that like button and uh, thanks for making it all the way to the end here i greatly appreciate it have a great day
DIY with Chris, giving you the tools to do it yourself. Today on DIY with Chris.